This is Robin West from the Zebra Data Services team. I'm here today to introduce to you a new set of APIs called the Mobile Computer Device Health APIs. These APIs allow you to, to see into your Zebra mobile computers and determine a lot of different things about them. Things like how well they're functioning, if there's any issues on them that are running with applications, or to see if different parts need to replace like batteries. This data isn't real time, it's historical, but it does allow you to see what has happened with your devices over time through the past and in aggregate across all of the devices within your company. The devices that I'll be showing in this video aren't even in front of me here. They're all across the country at different locations and can show how you can work with devices across all of your different locations for your company. Now these APIs aren't available to you unless you contact your Zebra account manager or partner manager. That's in order to make sure that we can get you set up and rolled out in a streamlined fashion. Now, we've introduced with this 11 APIs and 14 methods that allow you to get access to a number of different things within the Zebra mobile computers. These endpoints are things around battery applications, um, different analytics, location, um, and just general device information about the mobile computers that might already be part of your fleet or that you're considering purchasing. The ones that we're going to go through today are around the device, general device information. Um, so device information, device disruption, and device utilization. Device information is pretty straightforward. It shows you information about model, serial number, all the general stuff about your mobile computer. Device disruption tells you when a user or a system has turned off the device for any good reason. This may indicate that there is an issue with the device or an application running on it. As you can see, each of these do have a swagger associated with them. In order to tell a user how to access this particular API. And device utilization is an API that tells you how often the screen is being used and um, be, being interacted with by the users. So it can tell you whether or not certain devices are being over or underutilized and help you to uh, figure out if you need to move things around. During this video, we'll also go through the Asset Ownership Service. These are APIs that help you understand your account with Zebra and the devices that are, may be enrolled into that account as well as the devices that you may have access to from somebody else's account. As you can see, we do have a number of APIs that are as part of this package. Um, we'll go through them in later videos. So in order to help you to understand how these can be used, we took the APIs and we created our own little mini dashboard here to show you how to use the three APIs that I just mentioned. Um, on this dashboard, we're showing the count of devices that uh, we've seen, uh, the number of that have actually reported in in the last 24 hours and given us the data. Um, it also shows things like models and version numbers of, this, of the firmware um, and gives you a way to access the individual device data that we are able to pull. We also built into it a little calendar function that allows you to see a number of different things about an individual device. So we can see that um, on uh, Sunday and Monday, this particular device that I pulled up here reported in four times. That probably means that a couple of different times it reported just, hi, I'm here, and gave us, an, us in current status. Uh, it might have also sent in information about um, different events that have happened with it. Um, it's also telling you how much the device has actually been used, so how often people have been touching it and doing things on it. Um, these devices are fairly heavily used, so they're showing the numbers that that's, you know, that's been used this amount of time. This would also show if this device had actually been turned off at any point. It, it hasn't, but that would be posted on here if that was the case. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on how to use this information to build out and into your applications. So when we were actually creating this application, we had to use a number of different APIs that are part of the data services uh, group of APIs that are available. Uh, the first couple of things that we had to do were use some of the APIs that are currently available across, uh, across the company uh, and across our users that are for uh, looking at what we call the asset ownership service. Um, these are APIs that have to do with um, essentially establishing an account 
with Zebra for owning devices and what those accounts are and then figure out what devices you currently have enrolled in them. So this particular API that I have here is basically querying what tenants I currently have available. Now all Zebra users, all Zebra people who have registered into our Zebra developer portal actually have their own personal tenants that they have uh, available to them. Uh, primarily that tenant, um, if you actually went through and called this, it would pull out an account name, which would be your email address, and then would give you an account number, which would be a numerical value. Um, that is, is basically the account number that you'll use to call and make requests throughout the system in order to let you know us know which account that you wanted to take a look at from the standpoint of where your devices are being registered. Now, in a lot of cases, if you are a uh, partner or a reseller or a software vendor, you might actually end up getting this account number from your customers. Um, and that's that will be fine. Um, there are a number of different ways that that is secured as well. Um, but for now, we're looking at the more simple use case that the uh, account number and the key that you have are both actually registered uh, as, as part of that ownership. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is actually get a list of what devices that you currently uh, have ownership of. Um, so that's where this particular service comes in. Um, it is not part of the device health set, it's part of the asset ownership service that I mentioned before. Uh, but basically you put in your key and your tenant that you grabbed from the previous example and send that in and it will give you a list of devices um, that you currently have. We are currently looking to find just the handhelds, uh, which are the mobile computers, because uh, that's the only ones that we are working with right now. Um, but in the future, uh, you'll be able to take a look and see printers, scanners, um, RFID readers, all of those assets would actually be listed in here and you'd be able to pull them up using this uh, assets class API. This is the API that you'd use to actually pull up the records for individual devices. Um, if you don't put any additional information in here, it's going to grab the last record that it saw, basically the last seen um, information about that device, which is all we really care about with this particular dashboard. But in the future, you may want to integrate it where you can see historically what records have gone into the system and see if there's any changes. Um, but for now, we just care about what was last seen in this particular uh, sample. And uh, so I'm just pulling it up by the device ID and it pulls out and gives me the device info, um, which at this point I am just recording as a um, JSON object. And then I'm gonna use multiple different um, tools to uh, basically take that information and create my dashboard. So when I go to want to figure out how many devices actually reported in today, that's yet another API. Uh, it's one of the aggregation services that are available um, through the uh, new device health APIs. Um, and it basically, you put in, um, you know, you want to see just uh, the last day or so, the last 24 hours, and um, pull out just the counted devices um, from that API. So it'll return back with um, count number of distinct check-ins from from the um, from each of the devices. So in the end, with all of this, we end up getting a very nice little dashboard that shows basically what's going on with your devices and it helps you to understand um, where things are at the moment and what's going on. In future videos, we'll go over things like checking and figuring out the uh, battery health so you can know when you need to actually replace your next set of batteries. Uh, also, we'll go through some APIs for figuring out different issues that might be happening with the applications that are loaded onto the devices. Uh, and then the last video we'll do, we'll go through some of the um, an the more analytics APIs, including location, figuring out where your devices are, are very important. All right, thank you so much, and uh, hope to see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.